Please welcome CEO of the Global Poverty Project, Hugh Evans. Amina Mohammed, UN Secretary General Special Advisor on Post 2015 Development Planning. Michael Elliott, President and CEO of One. And Elizabeth Cousins, Deputy Chief Executive Officer of the United Nations Foundation. Hi, everyone. As you've heard clearly tonight, this is a historic year for our movement. And this September, the world will agree upon a new set of goals called the Sustainable Development Goals, designed to end extreme poverty by 2030. And it's my great pleasure to introduce you to a courageous woman who's leading the charge to launch this new set of goals. Her name is Amina Muhammad. She is, she is amazing. Give her a global citizen welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. And Amina, who you'll meet in a second, she is doing the most courageous job architecting, working together with heads of state from all over the world with the goal of ultimately ending extreme poverty by 2030. She is the United Nations Special Advisor on post-2015 planning. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Amina Muhammad. Hello, DC. This is amazing, amazing energy, and this is exactly what we need for the last mile. As you stand here today in a place where many great people have stood, this is an extraordinary opportunity to make things happen like they've never happened before. We know that we have a set of goals that the United Nations would like to end poverty and to make sure that in our lifetime, we can do something meaningful about climate change. And we need you here today. We need you here tomorrow. We need you here for the journey in the next 15 years to make it happen. In September, our leaders will gather together to gavel what will be the most ambitious set of goals and the means to implement them. And what we know is that these goals, sustainable development goals, will be the goals that will end poverty. What we need from you is to take this 15-year journey with us, starting from now, so that we can make our leaders walk the talk. Look forward to having you along for 15 years. Thank you. This is absolutely amazing. You are absolutely amazing. The UN Foundation is so proud to partner with Global Citizen. We all have a big job to do, and everybody has a part to play, and every action we take each and every day as citizens, in our families, our communities, our countries, will determine whether we get it done. In 15 years, my son Wyatt, now almost six years old, will turn 21. The actions we take today will change his world. They will also change the world of the six-year-old girl in Malawi who dreams of going to school so she can start her own business, the six-year-old boy in the Philippines who should grow up free of measles so that he can become a doctor, and the six-year-old girl in Washington, Lagos, Mumbai, or Bogota who wants to live in a world without climate change, without poverty, and without injustice. Today, we all, you all, are global citizens. With you, we will make the next 15 years count, and we will build a better future by 2030. Thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth. The next time you guys hear someone sneer at Washington, you just remind them that you were here this afternoon, you and hundreds of thousands of others. You should be so proud of yourselves. What do you think of Christine Lagarde? All those guys who think that poverty is sexist, say so right now. <clears throat> we at the One Campaign are so proud and thrilled to be a partner of Global Citizen as we build an enormous digital platform and as we build a movement to make sure that your voice counts. Politicians make promises all the time. They're really, really good at making promises. What counts is whether those promises are kept, and that's where you come in. We now have a chance to make sure that when, promises, when politicians make a promise, there are hundreds of thousands, tens of millions of people around the world 
who make sure that those promises are kept. Guys, it's over to you. Lots of love. Everyone on this planet has potential to make an impact. My grandfather, Nelson Mandela, embodied this ideal. I know how frustrated and powerless many of you feel, like the scale of inequality and suffering is simply too great to overcome. But there is energy in frustration. There is energy in sadness. And there is energy in the boundless compassion that lies at the heart of all of us. Global Citizen encourages people to dig down deep and uncover their power to affect change, no matter where they live. When millions of people channel their energy along with support from nonprofits towards an issue, governments and leaders have no choice but to pay attention. We only have 15 years to end extreme poverty, a feat that humanity has never achieved. To do that, that means we need each and every one of you. A single voice, a single click can really make a difference. So let's all become global citizens.